Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a, a Cancer, Sun, Moon, and as well a uh, Rising monthly tarot reading, November 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. All right, so uh, the first one which stands which stands for the uh, topic in the theme of your month here is going to be the Four of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges uh, that you need to overcome. That is going to be the uh, Princess of Swords or that is in this deck or it's represented with the Page of Swords in the traditional one. Afterwards, we do have the intentions, the best intentions that you can have throughout the month, or in other words, uh, best course of action here, that is going to be the Ten of Swords, followed by the fourth one, which stands for the lesson that you need to learn here, and, uh, or in other words, why this is all happening, that is going to be the Ace of Swords, and then the last one, which stands for the uh, positive energies that are to support you. Oh my God, we do have five swords cards. That is to be the uh, six of swords, uh, the energies that are to support you, or in other words, what is helping you throughout the month. Okay, so we, before we go into the uh, reading and pick up the cards, one by one, let's run them down one more time. So we do have the Four of Swords, which is the, ge the general topic and a theme of the month, followed by the Princess of Swords here, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Ten of Swords, which represents the um, positive intentions that you can have or the best possible course of action. Uh, furthermore, we do have the Ace of Swords, which stands for the uh, lesson that you need to learn throughout the month, what the, what the month is going to teach you in general, and, uh, you know, why this is all happening. And the last one is going to be the positive energies that are to support you throughout the month. All right, so quite sort of a um, active month is that you are going to have here. And um, at the end of the month, you are really going to feel relief uh, it's uh, it's all about kind of like well we are gonna get to that into a in a minute here when we pick up the cards one by one but although the month may be a bit stressful for you at the end it seems that you are gonna feel this liberation that that relief that you have strave toward for quite a lot of time and so four of swords is the first one and is going to be catalyzed by the two of cups so we do have an, an active neutrals and what we're talking about here it is a um, kind of like making how to describe it really uh it's kind of like 
well, it's, it, 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 it is like understanding that sometimes going forth with uh, your emotional pull, it creates and wreaks only havoc into one's life and therefore at that particular stage of your life or in November 2019, you have to kind of listen to your mind. Now, these two cards here are pointing to um, putting yourself into either awkward or a little bit of an uncomfortable uh, position, acknowledging a certain aspects of your life, aspects either into career or aspects either into a relationship that you are not very agreed to, all right? That up until this moment, you kept, you kept a silent treatment, but that silent treatment cannot continue on further. That could be the things that your partner aggravates you with and that annoys you, you know, or things that you simply cannot keep quiet any longer into your career. But instead of storming the situation here, uh, you are going to take the peaceful route this time around. And, uh, you know, instead of pointing fingers and, and making scandals and dramas, uh, this month it is where you will try to summon the people that are creating those mispleasant uh, circumstances and to talk with them really deep I, I, and kind of like... Uh, deliberative and elaborative and elaborative talks and conversations is what you will try to do with them now are they going to respond to that with the same token well that is going to be different for every single one of you and uh, <clears throat> here also it is where you're going to overcome a certain um, how can i say it a, a threshold of of um a threshold, uh, what, what was the word that I was trying to say? Shyness, a threshold of shyness, you know, that people usually are afraid to say something from the consequences of it. For example, you're afraid to say some to someone that you like them because you are afraid that they are going to deny you. Right? It's, it's such kind of a threshold that you are going to overcome, knowing that either things are going to improve or they will no longer be as they are. Or, you know, kind of like detachment. <clears throat> so the next one, it is the challenges that you need to overcome. And we do have this person here, the Princess of uh, Swords, and it is accompanied by the Knight of Cups or are catalyzed by the Knights of Cups. Knights of Cups, it is um, represented by the King of Cups in the traditional deck. And here we, <clears throat> here we do have a person who is, um, first of all, these cards are an active neutrals, and uh, we do have a, a person who argues a lot. Argues a lot is because they cannot kind of like a, how can I say it? Mm. They cannot, control entirely their emotions and they are uh, very displeased or not even displeased but let's say poignant and very hectic when they don't have the right decision in front of them obvious to them as well <clears throat> and uh, you have to be careful with this one because they can uh, really present fictions as facts and they can be very very convincing so how you can uh, overcome such kind of a person well simply ignore them right simply seek instead of seeking opinion of people that are not qualified to give you any professional opinion you know you have to seek it through a, a professionalist for example business advisors medical doctors um couples therapists and so on and so forth so with these two cards it doesn't look like that your friends and people that are emotionally attached to you can really give you the advice you seek because they are simply going to be biased and when you divulge that you want to do something different than their opinion it is where the rangos hits and when the rangos hits the rango it is a a fight that has no purpose whatsoever no one is going to be a victorious there and the only thing that you can achieve into those rangos it is simply hurt each other a lot 
Uh, the next card, it stands for... Oh, uh, one more thing before we go to the next one. Uh, also, um, as a challenging wise, you know, that person doesn't hold into a, uh, your intentions, all right? They, they will want to help you. Seeing here that you want to improve your circumstances, but once again, they, they don't know how exactly to help you. And for that reason, you know, their help could actually do more harmed and good in this case and for that reason throughout this month you have to seek only a, a professional help rather than random one from your friends family and etc etc so the next uh, card it is about the best possible intentions or the best intentions you can have throughout the month the best possible course of action we do have the ten of swords and here it is the world card so uh, this combo, it is a active enemies that we do have. And I, I'm pretty much surprised seeing the world, the world card catalyzing the Ten of Swords. It kind of points that you should not give up from your, um, from your standpoints. Okay. And from what your positions in general, which I thought that the reading is going toward. All right. But that's not the case this time around for what it seems intentional wise with the world card. Instead, you need to, uh, you intentional wise, you need to kind of like, um, uh, succumb the people around your view and around your standpoints. Um, as simply put it, it's kind of like, it looks like much of a, an, an ultimatum. You either, for example, you know, you either are going to do what I want or you are not going to be a part of my life, something like this, or we are going to do this project that way, or I'm not going to take part of it and so on and so forth. It's you, you need to kind of like a, um, display your value into the situation and, and, uh, make the people, how do you say it in English, obey to the fact that without you, the situations that you are involved into this, uh, into this month of November, they can't proceed or persevere moving on forward. But once again, you have to do it in a very gentle way, not in a gentle, but in a very smart and clever way, rather than being, you know, extremely bruising. But in the same time, you need to give them to understand that they, that this isn't joke. This is, this ain't no walk in the park. And whatever this decision they make in regards to either they will keep up with you or they won't is going to be a final one. And um, no different than uh, the, the husband or the wife that is always bouncing back, even they have threatened that they're going to leave their party. All right. So you say something, you do it. That That is your intentions. And uh, also intentional wise, you have to always focus and keep focus upon your greater good rather than the rest of the world's greater good this time around. It's all that uh, that you change your situation into much more beneficial one, even though you may have to cut some buttons. It's not even buttons, but let's say things that you thought are assets along the way. So the next one, it regards to the lesson that you need to learn. And that is uh, why this is all happening here. We do have the Ace of uh, Swords and is accompanied by the Five of Wands. So pretty much, uh, I don't know how you guys are going to take that. But these two cards, first of all, they are a active friends. And these two cards are pointing that you do have completely wrong understanding and wrong um, diagnosis in general upon the situations that are going to strike you or are going to um, not strike you, but are going to have something to do with you throughout the month of November. And these two cards also are pointing that the majority of those situations are going to be a, a contiguous ones. So they have been from the month of October and going into the month of November. So pretty much um, <clears throat> these two cards here are pointing that despite that you may not like it, you have to acknowledge the reality and you have to acknowledge the truth for uh, for. Uh, 
for the situation that you're finding yourself at. For example, your partner never going to change um, if you don't make them so, you know, or your career is not, your current job is not going to be lucrative and you have to simply start looking for another one or negotiate your new raise. It's not going to be given to you by pure chance and so on and so forth. So it is pretty much not kind of closing your eyes and look the other way for the obvious things that have already busted the door. They are not knocking on it, all right? They have busted it long time ago and you have to address those um, those realities, those truths. Um, but uh, lesson-wise as well, it does point to a, a thing that you should never give up and sometimes Desperate, uh, desperate times calls for drastic measures and unlikely alliances also. And that should be something you are going to learn throughout the months of November big time. And the last one, it is uh, the energies that are to support you. We do have the Six of Swords here and it is catalyzed by the Five of Cups. It is pretty good energies that we do have. So uh, throughout the months of November, uh, obviously there will be a some changes it's, it, it, and these changes are going to be usually or in a normal circumstances are very difficult to digest because they are going to uh, reverse the course of events of certain uh, of certain situations especially with this person that we saw here okay and as you address the reality over over situations that is going to kind of like a uh, change your standpoint, change your behavior as well. And you will have to make some alignments, right? You will have to make some, um, how do you say it in English? Rearrangements, okay? And uh, that may be a bit uh, fearful from a sense of that you may not know how the things are going to end up at the end. But energy supporting you, energy wise supporting you here with these two cards, we do have an inactive neutrals. That is, the, it is highly unlikely that you are going to lose something substantial throughout the month as the people that are supporting you, you know, friends, lovers, uh, relationships, lucrivity, and etc. etc. Just on the contrary, these energies are going to boost your confidence that something has to be done. Like I said, uh, these. Uh, misfortunes they have busted the door a long time ago and if left unchecked simply they are going to start deteriorating and ruin your life even further and from now on whatever you do it's going to be simply better than doing nothing that are going to be the energies which are to support you energies of activity unyielding decisiveness iron will and lack of fear for doing something about it so that being said cancer this was your monthly tower reading november 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye